and welcome back to another exciting Facebook Live with Chronicle Collectibles. I'm Robert Davis, and as always, we're going to let this fill in for a few minutes. So I hope everyone is having a good Monday. I know it's, uh, you know, start of the week. Maybe uh, you're like dreading, you know, that the weekend's not going to be here fast enough. But that's why I like to use Facebook Live, so you can see all the cool stuff we have going on at Chronicle. And uh, hopefully this will make for a nice diversion for your Monday. So, of course, we'll give this a few minutes just to fill in. So just hang tight and uh, we'll get the thumbs up here once we get a few uh, followers starting to, to clear into the room. So thanks again for joining us. I know this was kind of short notice today, but we have a lot of new products that we want to highlight today and uh, go over with you guys. So again, hopefully uh, everyone's uh, having a good one out there. We'll give it just a few minutes. Are we starting to see some regulars pulling in there? I think a few folks are joining in. Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like the, the room's filling up. So right now, I just wanted to turn things over for a brief second to our company president, Clay Brown. He just wanted to say a few words. Hey, everybody. It's, it's been quite a while since, uh, since I've joined you on a Facebook Live, and uh, I'm not a big fan of the camera, but Robert Davis does a fantastic job for us here uh, most weeks. So I wanted to just uh, stop on camera here for just a moment and thank all of you for your continued support of our company. I appreciate it very much. You know, we wouldn't be having these Facebook Lives if we didn't have great customers like you, uh, great fans who love this product as much as we do. So uh, we love continuing to, to make Jurassic Park product, John Wick product, all the other licenses, you know, the Fallout universe. It's great stuff. We've got a lot of neat stuff coming. Uh, a lot of great partners out there in the licensing world. And uh, just want to thank you very much for your continued support. And thanks so much for tuning into these Facebook Lives uh, every week or so. And uh, we thank you very much. So I'm going to hand it back over to Robert here. Y'all have a good afternoon. Thanks. Thank, thank you, you, Robert. Thank you. Okay, we got to get down to business, right? I know you've seen a lot of things here at the table. And if you didn't see it on the post on Saturday, it turns out that the Sick Trike is shipping now. That's right, the Sick Trike diorama is going out to customers' hands right now. And I think it was uh, Charlie Franks, I think was the first person actually to get one in hand and actually put some photos out there. And we blasted those out as soon as we could. But there's the box. It's a nice, simple box there for that. But you probably wanna see the product, right? And look at this, you're not gonna be disappointed. This is an absolutely gorgeous piece. This is so close to the prototype. The, the paint on it is just amazing. I'm gonna just make sure we can see it here in the camera. There we go. And if you look very carefully, there's a little tear that comes through. It's just an amazing paintwork on there. Um, and it's so great to be able to have this from prototype to actual production piece and have it match so closely. I know someone had asked uh, or sent in a comment and said, hey, did, did this get uh, you know uh, like a gloss over it? But I think that was, those were just the initial photos because hopefully when you're looking at it right now, it doesn't look glossy at all. It looks like, again, it looks as close to the prototype as, as I've ever seen for a product. So this is an amazing, amazing piece. Again, if you're a Jurassic Park fan, you know you want this because this is the second dino that the team really runs into when they get on the island. And of course, the, the first one they actually got up you know, close to and personal with. And it was such a touching scene. I, I know a lot of people have asked about the uh, sick trike saying, oh yeah, that's my favorite dino. And it, it really, you know, I understand why. It's just, it's that magical moment, you know, that Stan Winston creation. And now finally, you can actually, you know, bring this piece home and, and show it. And that's one thing I wanted to do real quick is just make sure that you could see the backside as well. And then I wanna make sure that you can see the front and then more importantly, I want to make sure that you can see the face up close. I don't know if the tear comes through on the on the Facebook Live video there, but it does. You can see it on there. So look at that sick trike. It's kind of a sad trike, you know, but no, it's a sick trike. So again, these are shipping right now. So if you order on our website, we can get these out to you as soon as possible. Um, we don't have a lot left on this. So if you are interested in this piece, please get on it because we had pre-orders go up last year and uh, a lot of them are already spoken for. So again, getting into fans' hands right now. Next up, we have, it's kind of a surprise for today, the Resonating Chamber, the Velociraptor Resonating Chamber from Jurassic Park 3, which uh, I think we've talked about before. Taylor, would you mind grabbing this for a second? I'm gonna pull the box up as well. Everybody, I just wanna introduce Taylor. Wave to the camera, there you go. Thank you, I'm gonna come around here as well. 
see this. First off, this can be displayed with uh, bones up or bones down on the base. And what's the question we always get? If it makes noise. Does it make noise? Well, it doesn't make noise. Uh, you know, you have to add that onto your own. But in the movie, the real prop didn't uh, make noise as well. I just want to make sure you can see it here close on the camera. So yeah, that was a post-production effect in the film. Um, you know, they didn't actually design the prop to, to have like a little microphone or a speaker in it and all that. So um, this is a post-production effect, but I can assure you we live in the age of the future, right? So you can just, you know, <laughs> you can get this and you can get on your own, make your own videos, add your own sound effects where you can blow on it and it's, yeah, it'll be just fine. So, but I totally, as soon as I picked this up, the first thing I wanted to do was just kind of blow into it, right? So it's such a cool little piece and it's, uh, you know, it's from the screen or it's made from the screen used prop. And it's just something that uh, if you have on your desk, it's small enough that people or that uh, people you know recognize what it is, but also it's small enough that you can you can keep it on your desk, and people will say, "Oh, hey, you know, that's a great piece," and it doesn't take up a lot of space too. It's a screen use prop. Uh, I'm sorry, a replica of a screen use prop, and uh, I love myself as a lot of you know, like anything that's one to one, and this is one to one, and it's not that big. It's you can put it anywhere. Now, I also wanted to make sure that you could see the base. Check that out. Might hold that for me. Thank you. Classic uh, Jurassic Park 3 logo. I know that uh, I think the logo was updated at some point, but uh, a lot of fans have asked that they, they were glad to see that we're using the original Jurassic Park 3 logo on there with like the raptor slashes and all that for the three. I love that. So thank you very much. Oh, yeah, we should show the box off as well. Actually, you see that. Bob Lindemeyer did the box. And I love this box art on here. This is uh, incredible art. And then, you know, there, right there in the uh, in the Raptor, you can see the, the like the little, you know, x-ray scan of it. You can actually see where the uh, resonated chamber would be. Just wanna turn that around for you real quick so you can see that. There we go. Again, this is now shipping, getting out of the fan's hands. And uh, if you're a fan of Jurassic Park 3, I know it's like the, the most favorite of all the Jurassic Park films, but it's a, it's a fun film in itself, and it does have its fans. And we've had, you know, had a lot of people say, hey, thank you for making something from Jurassic Park 3. And as I said a second ago, I myself love prop replicas, anything like that, anything one-to-one. -one. And this is a, a great one-to-one -one prop that you can have in your home, your office, uh, wherever you'd like to put it. Okay, so some of you may know, because we posted a lot about it, the Baby Raptors, Crash McCreary's Baby Raptors have shipped Taylor, I'm going to ask you to come back over here. I'm going to yip yap on these, if you don't mind holding this up so people can see it. You hold that up the camera there. Check that out. The baby raptors, Crash McCreary's art come to life, essentially. I mean, this is such a beautiful piece. One of the questions we had gotten about it was, you know, can you display these uh, individually? And absolutely you can. you can. You can just put one on display if you want. You can put it in all three. It's your choice. Um, one nice thing too is the uh, display plaques that are we, we are including that are signed by Crash McCreary. This can be placed anywhere, uh, either outside of it or on, on the base with the, uh, the Raptors. Whatever you'd like to do. It really gives a, you know, a lot of possibilities, especially because again, you can display the Raptors individually, you're all together. And uh, that kind of makes for some fun, uh, you know, if you want to change up your, your, your uh, display of them, you know, you, you have some options now just because they all individually fit on the base. Is this your favorite piece right now? <laughs> yeah, I think this one's so cute. I actually want it for myself, but I don't, I don't, don't have enough money for it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but that's why we got payment plans, right? Yeah. So <laughs> payment plans really help out with that. Um, and that's one of the great things, of course, as you know, Fans of Chronicle, anytime you come to our site, we have payment plans for all of our products. And whether it's like, you know, three months, 10 months, whatever, uh, under the new uh, partial uh, .ly system or partially system, uh, there's a lot of flexibility in, in how you can order products from us, but uh, definitely we understand that sometimes people's budgets and things like that, you know, don't accommodate for maybe something, you know, for, you know, baby wrappers that I think they're like $5.99 right now on the website. Is that correct, Alex? Yeah. And, you know, if you can't afford that outright, well, the payment plans will actually help you because you can break that up month to month and uh, make it a lot easier over time. Uh, do we have any questions coming through right now? Um, I have a packy question perhaps okay um it's i think that's in production still yeah packy's in production it's not going to be too much longer 
Um, I think last, uh, last fall we showed off some of the counter samples of the Packy and it looks really good. Uh, it's coming along great. In fact, I'm so surprised how close the, the counter sample we got back is to the actual production, or sorry, to the actual prototype. So it's gonna be a great piece uh, once we get that into the fans' hands and it won't be too much longer, so just hang tight on that. Uh, Taylor, would you mind grabbing some of the fallout stuff? I just wanted to show that off real quick too. Uh, of course, through our partners at uh, Think Geek and GameStop, right now we have new product being delivered uh, into stores, and this is a uh, Fallout Girl, or sorry, Vault, Vault Girl from Fallout. And make sure to get her up to the camera there. And this is now shipping. Right? Thumbs up, everybody. Save your bottle caps. Now, one nice thing about this is this is the latest edition, or one of the latest editions into our Modern Icons line. And I will say that we do have more Modern Icon stuff coming, but we just can't talk about that right now. So, Stay tuned, lots more exciting product coming from Think Geek or made exclusively for Think Geek and GameStop that you can find. But this is a great piece. This is a really, from uh, the actual prototype into the actual production, I mean, it, the, the paint work is fantastic on this. We've had a, already, you know, for the people that have found these in stores, we've had a lot of people say, oh, these, you know, these look fantastic, uh, much better than I expected. And we're always glad to hear that, you know, we, we think, uh, a lot of the product we put out, whether it's, it's smaller fare like this or even higher end stuff like the Sick Trek diorama, we're very proud of and we try to make sure that it looks as good as possible. So there's a box, of course, for our Vault Girl. It's a cool little box, right? And then also we have T51. Look at that. Nice T51. And if you're a fan of the Fallout series, you know you need this. This is a great piece. Uh, it's got, you know, uh, the uh, plasma rifle in hand. And uh, one thing I wanted to show too was the base on the Modern Icon series. It's got that nice little green line around it. Actually, let me do a comparison of the two because I think sometimes people want to know how do they measure up. So again, are we able to see both of them right there? Mm -hmm. yeah. so. Very cool. Top down. Now these are great looking pieces. Again, look at the paintwork on that. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Both of these are. And I wanted to show the, the box off on that. There we go. And a lot of people ask us like, hey, I would like to display the box too, you know, and, and they'll send us pictures with the product uh, next to the box. And that's totally cool. Sometimes I do that as well. Uh, it just depends if you've got enough space to do that. And sometimes with these uh, modern icons pieces, um, it's possible to do so. Now, uh, Vault Girl was actually the number seven on the line of modern icons. And, and I know it's been kind of out of order. T-51 was number five. And we also have the Bloodborne Hunter, which is the eighth release in the modern icons line. And that's this piece right here. This is uh, piping hot new, available at GameStop and ThinkGeek stores right now. So this is a tremendous, tremendous piece. I mean, there's you've got the weathering on the coat down here. You've got this awesome base right there and also he's got his guns blades and all that it's just a neat looking piece and again these are retailing right now at Think Geek and GameStop stores I'm gonna pass these off to you I just want to show the box off for the Bloodborne Hunter there you go really cool piece and it's neat for me just to see on, online, like people talking about this particular figure. Uh, it's been kind of blown up uh, for fans of the game. And that's, that's always great to see. And that's one of the reasons we do this is because we want to give you an option to bring home, you know, something you either see in a film or a game or whatever and make it something tangible that you can keep on your desk at work or in your office, man cave, wherever you want to. Um, and just like with a, the smaller piece like the uh, Velociraptor Resonating Chamber, the Think Geek statues at one night scale are small enough that you can, again, put them on a desk somewhere and they don't take up a ton of space. So there's a lot of flexibility options. I saw one guy the other day actually sent us a picture of him. He had like glued his to the top of his dashboard in his car. Hey, if, if you want to do that, you can do that as well. That's totally cool. And one thing, I, some people have asked us uh, about John Wick, and I will confirm that we are doing some John Wick stuff for the new movie. Not going to say what that is just yet, but uh, one thing I will say is right now on our website, we still have a selection of the Blood Oath marker set from John Wick 2. So if you're getting ready for the new film, 
you know you need a blood oath marker. This is one of the coolest prop replicas we've ever done. And yes, it does come with the coins. People ask that all the time. I don't know why, but it totally comes with the coins. And another question again is like, do they have some heft to them? And they do. They totally have some heft. And this is a, a great piece. It's, uh, it's fairly inexpensive. And it's um, one of my favorites that we've done. And it's just like, you know, I was talking about with the one night scale statues and everything else. It's small enough you can keep anywhere. It's a great conversation piece. And again, if you're getting excited for the new John Wick movie like we are, you've got to get yourself a Blood Oath marker. So again, we still have a few of those left on the website, chroniclecollectibles.com. And one other thing I'd like to throw out today, too, especially if you're kind of new to Chronicle, is in fact, we actually have a newsletter. Believe it or not, we have a newsletter, and that's where we put out some of our uh, most important information, or the earliest you know, leaks of information, is through our newsletter. And the way you sign up for that is you go to chroniclecollectibles.com, scroll down, and you can subscribe to our newsletter. So please do that if you want to be in the know. I mean, of course, on the socials, you know, we're active on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but uh, for the you know, kind of late, or the earliest breaking news, you can find that through our newsletter on our website. So please sign up for that if you haven't. And I always encourage you, if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram uh, or even Twitter, to make sure you set your notifications on for us. Because if you're like us, you probably have a ton of things in your feed. Taylor, how many things do you have in your feed every day? Like tons, uh, right? Yeah. Tons. Come on over here. You can come back. <laughs> but, right? It's like hard to find stuff, right? Because yeah. it gets buried in there. Well, if you set your notifications on for whatever social media platform you follow us on, you will be able to... <laughs> Alex, you're killing the camera there. Sorry. Uh, that's cool. Um you'll be able to, to you know, make sure you find out when we post something new so you don't you know, get lost in the feed. I, I know every once in a while someone will see something and get, you know, um, it'll end up in their feed a few days later and like, oh, I didn't know you were doing that or I didn't know you had this special going on or whatever. So again, if you don't want to miss out, you've got to make sure that you sign up or you set up your notifications on for us. And if you don't know how to do that, it's a simple Google. How do I do notifications for whatever platform of your choice? So make sure you do that if you get a chance. We have about three questions Okay. about the egg and the raptor okay yeah as well and we actually have a nice tease to show today i think we could show that off today yeah yeah, yeah. Taylor, this is would a, you mind uh, grabbing up there this is a pre-production okay so there are some changes to evolve okay but this is a sample there you go it, as alex said himself right now this is a pre-production sample of the raptor hatchling and we're gonna make a few changes to it uh, i think we're gonna add some goo maybe right underneath here and then a few other uh tweaks but uh right now this is what the piece looks like and then one of the questions we get is you know can you remove it from the vase oh well this one can't um on this pre-production but it's one of the changes that's one of the changes there you go um for the uh, uh, production version we do intend to be able to let you take it off the base and also we right now we're intending to try and uh, make the possibility for you to be able to take the uh, raptor out let me see if i can get him out so you can actually hold him in your hand like this uh, so it fits in like a magnet. If you're familiar with a lot of our statues uh, or just statues in the community, you realize that, um, you know, there are a lot of times we held them by magnets. But if you wanted to try to do cosplay, just have like the, you know, the baby raptor in your hand like this, you could totally do that. It's pretty cool, right? So. And then if you didn't want to just hold the baby raptor around, you could bring the egg around and, and um, display it, cosplay with it. And uh, there's lots of possibilities. Um, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before we see people with Easter photos and like one of these will be like right in the middle. So, yeah. Do we need to do a close up on that? Can you see it pretty it well? It looks really good from here. Um, one and, of the other questions is the Cairo, which is basically the, the barbersaw can. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure where that's at. It's just. Um, yeah, it's, well, the barbersaw can, it, as a lot of you have, you know, that follow us regularly found out, uh, we did locate the original screen use can. And we're working right now to, uh, to actually get that produced. So uh, by finding that can, we didn't expect to. And, and then when it came in, um, suddenly that kind of put a, put a cramp on, on our schedule for actually do, you know, putting it up for pre-order. So all we ask is that right now people be patient. Uh, we are working on it and it's gonna be the most accurate screen, um, or screen accurate barbasol can you'll ever find. And it's gonna be, of course, licensed, which hasn't happened, uh, I know for a long time there's been you know, some unlicensed stuff out there, but the, this will be fully licensed and it's gonna be the most accurate can that uh, you've ever seen. And it's gonna be as close as basically owning the actual prop replica um, as they had in the film, so. Any other questions there, Alex? Any updates on the night vision goggles? Night vision goggles, I believe, are coming out in uh, the third quarter. Yeah, third quarter right now. 
So it's not gonna be too much longer on those. And uh, yeah, we get questions about those probably once a week as well, because I know everyone wants to do some cosplay with them. And that's probably what I'll be doing for Halloween this year myself. What about you? I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> you know, you're, yeah, you gotta plan in advance for these things, you I know? know? I so, usually do. <laughs> yeah. What are the questions we got, Alex? Um, we actually have suggestions about how we can change the actual egg in terms of paint, which is kind of cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we do listen to, to, to customer feedback, to fan feedback, and that's one of the reasons we do things like this. We like to show things off early, uh, just to kind of get uh, you know a gauge of what's going on. Um, one nice thing, though, is that even if, even if, though we're going to make some tweaks to this, just seeing it in person, it just I think it looks great. You know, I think it's going to be a really cool piece to have. Um, Here's the prototype. Oh yeah, let you know how close they came, and yeah. it does come off, so it's very delicate. It's perfect. So again, pre-production prototype. There you go. So there's some. Changes. We're like synchronized on this. This is awesome. They can look at each other. Yeah. We need some background music or something. We, we do, like a little, <laughs> little Jurassic Park music and whatnot. Um, I wouldn't put it past people too to buy several of these. And if you could still track down one of the original Velociraptor one-to-one -one eggs, of course those will be in scale with this and that would be a great addition as well. Do we have other questions popping up there? Um, not many actually, it looks like um, Product Collectibles is live as well, answering these questions. Oh, that's great. I really appreciate it today. I think uh, Heather's holding it down, uh, for answering the questions for us, so really appreciate that. M Mike said, um, hashtag Taylor M Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. I guess that's who that's you That's the learn. best compliment I've ever received. <laughs> Did you hear that? The best compliment she's ever received. So there you go. You made Taylor's day. So you'll see Taylor more. I think you're going to be doing some modeling uh, for us uh, for some of the products coming forward. So. Heather will still be doing some of that as well. Don't worry if you're a Heather fan, but uh, I think Heather and, and Taylor will kind of uh, trade off on that for, for future products, so. Um, um, we have, could we ever see replica padlock signs? I don't know what that means. Is that the actual thing? The paddock signs, paddock yeah, signs. the paddock signs. Yeah, um, that's, that's possible. Um, I think that'd be something that uh, we might be able to look into. Um, you know, just uh, stay tuned. Uh, people have been asking, like, hey, you know, uh, I follow you for Jurassic Park kind of stuff, and, and where's the new Jurassic Park stuff? Well, slowly roll. You know, we're not a huge, huge company. We're trying to get things done uh, as fast as we can. And if you look at, you know, the, the breadth of product we've had come out just in the last year alone, um, and, and new folks working with us and everything, you know, the company is growing. We're, we're getting bigger. Um, but we're still not super huge. We're not, you know, the, the biggest uh, players in the market or anything. But we're still trying to get these things done right, and sometimes that takes time. And you know we can't overcommit and start doing a bunch of pre-orders that we're just not ready for. So we are trying to get you know new product out. We'll have new Jurassic Park product coming this year. Um, we just ask you to be patient, stay tuned, and revel in the fact that we have right now shipping two brand new Jurassic Park products. I'm gonna put baby Raptor back here or the Raptor hatchling. But um, again, the resonating chamber from Jurassic Park Three available now on our website. Now shipping. Sorry, it doesn't like standing up like that. There you go. And then oh, the sick Triceratops diorama, which is also available now. Let's see the back. ChronicleCollectibles.com. Oh, that'd be great. Definitely show Just the back on the screen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Flip that down. Oops, sorry. There you go. So the edition size in this is 200. So if you're after this piece, you need to get in on it because we don't have many left of this particular one. Um, especially, I think, when now that people can actually see it in hand. I mean, people were kind of wondering, like, you know, what's it going to look like and all that. And I think it's a, a great looking piece. I think Did it's. You blow it on? Oh, yeah, I haven't shown off. I want to yet. And also available at chroniclecollectibles.com, we have Owen and Blue. And a question I get sometimes is can you show off um, just uh, Blue or can you just show off just Owen? And you totally can. Look at that. So, or are you can show off the base if you're like a base aficionado. I guess you can uh, you can do that. Uh, one thing I like too is like where his uh, Owen's feet actually fit in. It's like his feet are like in the mud. I'm gonna try and tilt it just a little bit so you can kind of see more of the base right there. So, I personally think this piece looks a lot better in person. Uh, I don't think photos do a lot of justice for it. Um, and we've had a lot of fans reach out to us and say, "Hey, I love this. I think this looks great." So. 
Um, again, I sometimes things just don't photograph well, and I think that this piece, if you would see it in person, you'd be very, very impressed. I think it came out well, um, and it's a, it's a great piece that we have available right now, again, at chroniclecollectibles.com. So there's the box art coming up on it. So one ninth scale, Owen and Blue. What's the retail for that thing? So uh, retail on this one, I think was three ninety nine. Yes, three ninety nine ninety nine. So also available with payment or for payment payment plans. Uh, you know, pick your poison. One month, ten months, twelve months. I think we have twelve month option now as well on some of the products. So. Again, check it out, chroniclecollectibles.com. Here's what it looks in the, look like in the back. And uh, I can't stress enough, if you just want to display blue, that's totally cool. You can do that as well. So, okay, I think we're going to wrap it up unless we got a couple more questions. I don't want to make this go too long. So, again, the big highlights today are just, you know, sick trike diorama and the the resonating chamber from Jurassic Park 3 are both now shipping, as are three new products in our modern icons line at Think Geek and GameStop. Um, the base for the sick trike is shaped as a paddock sign. No, it's the island, actually. Uh, it's the Nublar. That's the actual um, island shape. As that's it. right. I think original design. I think we were looking to do it as a paddock sign, sure. and then it was. Uh, that's a yeah. Robert. Rosales asked that question. Okay, I will. I will double triple check on that because uh, I remember like when we had the prototype originally, we mm -hmm. had changed it. It's actually on the product description on the uh, on the product page. It tells you exactly what it is. And I, off the top of my head, I'm I, I'm you know I have to be uh, apologetic here, but I don't remember if, if we had had actually specified if it was the paddock sign or the island. I know we were kind of going back and forth on that. Um, but uh, again, the uh, on the product page itself, it'll actually tell you the description. And Alex is going to pull that up on the site. On the page, you can see that right now. We can we can just confirm that because I like to be accurate. I like to be right about these things, and mm -hmm. I know that there's enough uh, Jurassic Park three fan or Jurassic Park fans out there that they want to know these kind of details. You know, it's really important to folks. So, um, but anyway, again, thank you everybody for joining us in for the, or joining with us for this Facebook Live today. I know again it was kind of impromptu, but we just wanted to throw it together just to highlight these brand new products, and it was a great opportunity to do so. And there's just so many new exciting things coming from us at Chronicle Collectibles. So thanks again for all of your support, and thanks for being a, the best part of what Chronicle is, really it is. So thank you, and we'll see you guys next time.